Hey there friends, Nibs again. Out here in the garage today doing a little bit of goofing around and I wanted to do another attempt at the uh, Umarex Boys Club uh, Vintage Target Class uh, Target Challenge. Um, this is from uh, the Umarex Boys Club. It's a has a YouTube channel. I'll leave the link down below. I actually found this watching Norfolk Air Gunner. I re really like his channel. I watch his stuff a lot when he posts stuff up. But uh, this is, he, he had tried the challenge and I saw it, it looks like a lot of fun. So you guys know I like shooting out here in the garage. Uh, we're shooting, six, this challenge is for six yards. So I'm shooting a little bit closer to the target than I normally do. I'm usually back here, that's seven yards for me, but uh, one pace forward. And now I'm shooting six yards here. <clears throat> but uh, we have these targets here. I had one more target printed out on cardstock. So I figured I'd give it one more try. And uh, I have a really, really cool, very old German Springer here. This is a Hanel Model 1. And the best I can tell, this one was probably made in the late 20s, early 30s at the, at the, early, at the latest. And uh, it is pretty cool. This one is a rifled barrel. These did come in smoothbore and in rifling and with rifling and this one is rifled uh, one kind of distinction that a lot of guns don't have is it has a, a barrel latch here so when you uh, close it it really locks up like a bank vault so like I said we're shooting uh, across the garage here at uh, six yards I am shooting uh, Meister Coogans and uh, seven green Meister Coogans let's go ahead and get started so far I've done this with uh, one pistol and one other rifle and I did the best with the uh, I did the best with the pistol so let's go ahead and uh, see if we can improve on the rifle Ooh, just a little low all right so this is if you hit the six even just touch the six, it counts as a six, but anything else outside of the six is worst edge scoring, just uh, so everybody knows. Can't tell that that go in the six. If it didn't, I don't know where it hit. <laughs> Two. So we're doing five shots per target, two targets, maximum score of 60. That might be another four. So that's three. Could use a just a little touch of elevation here. Let me see. Okay. Let's try that. Probably too much. I didn't see where that hit. Hopefully we can see that on the, uh, that was four. Hopefully I can see with the hits on the uh, playback from the downrange camera. All right, let me uh, swap out the target and we'll continue on. We'll get the last five shots up and see how we did. Well, that's gonna be easy to score. <laughs> you guys saw it already. I think that uh, that adjustment I made helped a lot. All right. Yeah, it's probably a four or five. 
that little black dot is tiny. I think that's a six. Six. That's three. This is a great little gun. <laughs> Ooh, I think I pulled that one a little bit. I don't know. That's four. One more. Here we go. Ooh, I pulled that one a little high. I think that's a four up high there. All right, I'm gonna go grab that target. We'll add those up and I'll be right back with you. All righty, I am back. I really actually shot well. Uh, that was actually not my best score though. I will take it. I don't have any choices. But the first one, uh, after I made that adjustment, I got uh, started out with a four, four, five, and then made an adjustment, got two sixes, and then on the, the next one, I was doing pretty good, and then I kind of got shaky right at the last bit, and also got a twenty-five on that one. So uh, two twenty-fives gives me a total of fifty out of a possible sixty. So that is not bad out of a close to 100 year old, at least probably 90 year old Springer uh, from uh, pre-World War II Germany. Really, really cool. <laughs> I haven't had this one very long. And if you guys know me, uh, open sights are not my forte. So to get a 50 on this one is actually pretty good shooting for me. So go ahead and check out uh, Norfolk Air Guns and uh, Umarex Boys Club. And uh, hope you guys liked the video. Until next time, have a great day.